What up, brothers? How are you? Beckham here. Brothers and sisters, I should say. We'll have it no other way, right? <laughs> hey, uh, real quick, reintroduction, because I know I've been kind of lagging on my, my posts. Uh, YouTube kind of lags sometimes, a lot of times actually, and a few times I did get lazy, so <laughs> apologies there. Um, let's see. This week's topic is uh, about haircuts and... You know, the styles of what, what uh, influenced our choices in these, these hairdos. So, as, a, as my hairstyle goes, today it's quite, quite doing whatever it wants. I don't know, you know, it's just, it's up there. Um, here, check it out. So, I originally was cutting it myself for a while. I originally gave myself like this, uh, like warrior haircut, we'll call it. And it was long on the top, and I had a ponytail, a little tiny bun, like a man bun. But, you know, it was faded up to about right here. Looked like a little uh, tribesman running around. Um, that's cool, but my head got hot, and with testosterone and the heat where I live, it's just hot. I sweat a lot, and so it's just, I love my hair. It always grows. It does. It's, I love it. It's one of my favorite things about me, my hair. Um, but it's just great when I, when I just style it. I'm not afraid to show my femininity at all. I don't. I don't give crap about masculinity, femininity. Just be a good person, you know. Um, but yeah, this this was inspired by my myself. It looks like I don't know. <laughs> you probably say, "Oh, I see a bunch of people with that hairstyle." Well, this is my own, okay. Uh, you know, people usually bring it back a little bit more in the in the crown area, but. I'm like, nah, screw that. Let's bring it to the top, make it to the front, so you so you know when I walk in the room, it's like, oh, that's Bex. <laughs> uh, but many influences of hair that I've had. Honestly, I am my own person, so if I like it, I go with it. If I don't, I don't do it. If I kind of want to try it, I try it. But obviously, if I don't like it, I won't do it again. Um, I went, I've tried growing out my hair. But my hair is really, really fucking thick, so it's hot. I had my hair like down here, and it was green. It was cool, you know. It was, it was cool. I miss it, but it was just a lot to handle. A lot on my head. I was getting headaches, so you know, I just I cut it. I tried to let it grow as long as it wanted to go, but it only it only made it so far before. My forehead, my head started aching, and I was waking up with my my head hurting and stuff like that. So I was like, I can't, I can't do this anymore. I don't want to do this anymore. Like I'll just, I'm gonna shave my head, but didn't. Um, hmm. The animals. Hmm. This past Wednesday was my birthday. Not, not yesterday. Wait, what's today? Oh, shit. Wow. <laughs> what? Today's Tuesday. Last week was my birthday, the 24th. Uh, so I turned 32. Um, yeah. Oh, and, you know, I think I was supposed to do, like, a little introduction about who I am. Well, if we're going to go by labels, I don't particularly like to be labeled. The ultimate label I tell people to call me is Dragon. Um, that's a little too out there for you guys. You can call me he, even they. Um, I identify as two spirit, though. Um, two spirits are interdimensional beings that represent themselves here on Earth. Um, and you can't really tell if they're a man or a woman, but they can definitely, uh, bring out the feminine and masculine qualities when needed, if necessary. Uh, so that's generally the two-spirit individual. But um, my thing is you don't have to identify as anything. Just be a good person and do better than you did before for yourself. Um, I, I massage. I'm a massage therapist. I'm a poet. Uh, I love, love animals. I love dogs. Um, all animals, the dogs, oh, they're so cute. I have my babies myself, actually. Where are my babies? Hey, guest appearance, somebody, come here. 
Somebody come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, what you got? What's that? Come here, let's do guest appearance. Oh, this guy. This this little dude right here. He's one of my little guys. His name's Cherubi. This boy. What you see? He loves me. He, I rescued him from the street. He, um... He was on the street for a while. But these guys are my heart. I had seven, and I had to rehome four. Uh, I was better off that way, because I couldn't take care of all seven by myself. It wasn't fair to them. So I kept three. Um, but yeah. <laughs> you can't help it. Look how cute these guys are. They're just so adorable. So adorable. Um, Alright, say bye. Say bye to everybody. Bye. See you later. Um. What else about me? What else about me? Um. I have an album out on iTunes. I call it call it Flowetry. Some people say, "Oh, it's rap." I guess. But it's feel good music non-discriminating to help elevate to help recreate to help reset the dna in all of us um i'm not your average transgendered male seeing as i call myself a dragon um i'm just definitely a very interesting human being and i love it that way but ultimately beckham federico is here to assist in the healing of others through example and action and just existence. So I really wanted to be a part of this brotherhood because there are all kinds of people from all different walks of life. And I just wanted to show everybody out there that there are many different kinds. Um, along with all the brothers on our page from various backgrounds, different identities, differing timelines, differing everything. It's really beautiful and remarkable to be a part of this group. Um, but with that said, I think I covered pretty much. Um, it's about going to go on eight minutes, a little too long. But if you guys have any questions, feel free to shoot us a message. We're always here. If you guys are um, in the early stages of transitioning, coming out to your families, coming out to whoever it may be, just know that uh, you have a whole community of people out there. Uh, trans men, women, non-binary, queer, straight, uh, allies. We're out here. Just go on the internet. It's so easy nowadays. If you're feeling lonely, I know they, they say <laughs> being on the phone is an epidemic, which it is. But at the same time, find find your tribe. Find them for the right reasons. And, you know, grow together. And then you not, might not need social media as much anymore. Because um, I find a lot of times people step to social media because they are they are lonely so they start comparing themselves to other people's lives don't do that uh, we here on this page are just sharing our own experiences but it's never for competition um, <clears throat> anyways I'm gonna go now I hope you guys have a wonderful night and I'm Beckham on Mondays manifesting Beckham on Instagram and we'll talk soon